Let's continue our lesson with manipulating AutoCAD objects. So in this uh, lecture, we're going to move an object using the displacement function. We've actually used this before in one of our methods, like the uh, multiple copy. But uh, I think it's still worth uh, revisiting. I will be introducing some way of moving an object. So let's get started. I have here the code structure prepared, same as the previous methods that we have created, so that it can save us time and we can focus on the, the lecture. So again, let's uh, create an object that we will be moving to a new location. Let's create a circle that is at uh, center point 2 2 with a radius of uh, let's just make it 0 0.5 so using the using structure let's create a new circle c1 is new circle then we can specify the center was new a point 3d let's uh, locate it at the 2,2,0 then specify the radius equals 0 0.5 so next let's create a matrix that we will be using to move the circle. Create a matrix and move the circle using a vector from 0, 0. That is the starting point to, to 0, 0. So let's uh, create a new point, point 3D. Let's just call this as uh, start point, new point 3D. It would be from 0, 0. Then let's create a vector from this point. So vector 3D. Let's just call this as... Uh, destination vector equals our start point dot get vector 2 that is the method that we're going to use and the parameter that it requires is a new point so new point 3d we will move it to 2 0 0 Okay, so this means that uh, the center point will now be uh, 4, 2, 0. Because we are basically moving it two units to the right. Our x here is 2. Okay. Now let's uh, perform the, the transformation or the move. So C1 that uh, transform by... We will use the matrix uh, 3D, the displacement uh, method, and then we specify the, the starting point. I mean, I mean the, the destination vector. That is our uh, destination. So we transform or we move the circle from its uh, from. Uh, from the start point to the destination vector. Okay, next, don't forget to add the new object to the block table record. So BTR dot append entity C one 
and also we need to add into our transaction add newly created DB object C1 and uh, true and that's basically all there is to it for the code now we need to uh, commit the transaction commit the transaction here so that's it let's save the project and do a rebuild okay rebuild successful so in the next video we're going to try it in AutoCAD I'll see you there